For the Boston Celtics, first two games were pretty rough muffins against the Chicago Bulls. And before we talk about Game 3, I want to give you some context from Game 2. Celtics offense was a little sloppy. 16 turnovers on the day. Still managed to shoot 46%. So, they definitely had moments of getting the ball inside and scoring. But I feel like their game plan was like to get the ball into the teeth of the Bulls defense. And Chicago is a pretty decent defensive team. So I think after a while, uh, they just weren't able to maintain that. Uh, and it resulted in, I mean, Chicago beat them pretty handily in Game 2. So down 2-0 in Chicago, Brad Stevens had to make a decision about what to do with this lineup. Decides to insert Gerald Green for some more shooting and athleticism. And we see that the game plan also changed on this very first play that we see in this video. You notice that Robin Lopez and Jimmy Butler are trapping Avery Bradley and Al Horford is open around the free throw line. I would say that's because Horford went up to set a screen, and that's really where the Celtics' offense changed. I think their high pick and roll game, it kind of threw the Bulls for a loop, because Robin Lopez is a good defensive big guy, but he doesn't really want to defend Al Horford out on the three-point line, and I think the Celtics really used Horford's versatility in this game effectively. You look at here, Horford's just bringing the ball up himself, which immediately causes Chicago's big guys to step out of the paint and it just forces the Bulls to make adjustments that they didn't really want to make and ones that the Celtics were not making them make earlier on in the series results in Isaiah Thomas open. Another one here, a double screen, Robin Lopez has to come out, I mean that's just way too easy for Horford. I felt that earlier on in the series the Celtics style of offense which is a lot of dribble handoffs and everybody touching the ball. It's very textbook basketball, but the Bulls defended it well. A more simple style of play, forcing Robin Lopez to defend Isaiah Thomas. The Bulls really weren't ready for that one, and the Celtics, they're not out of the hole just yet, but they got themselves a little bit closer, as this thing is now a 2-1 series.